Welcome back everybody. This week's video is going to be a little bit different because it was never supposed to happen. I had taken my family up for a vacation up in Colorado Springs just to get away from everything. But the morning after we arrived, my wife went out to get coffee. Then I woke up to this. Ah. This is my wife's Jeep that she likes to call Luna. Luna is a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee with 82,000 miles on it and a little bit of a temperature problem. Let's go ahead and fix that. When we bought this Jeep, I knew that some repairs had been made to the cooling system. So I knew that whatever was going on with it was probably going to be the thermostat. So that's what we're replacing today. And to start, you have to remove this hose clamp from the upper radiator hose. Then just remove the hose. You're going to make a mess, so just try to have your drip pan ready underneath the engine. Once you've got the hose off, just push it out of the way. Of all things, the thermostat is held in by two 10 millimeter bolts. Who would have guessed it? Go ahead and pop both of those out and the thermostat comes right out. But be warned, you're still going to make a mess, so just don't remove your drip pan yet. Now that the old one's off, it's time to put the new one on. Make sure your gasket is properly in there. Just put it back where the old one came from, and it's just reverse process. I started with the top bolt just to hold everything into place. And then the bottom bolt. If ever you're wanting to get into wrenching on your own vehicle, the thermostat is a great place to start. It gives you a little bit of experience on knowing what parts of the engine are, and it's very simple. Once you've got those bolts tightened on, just put your top radiator hose back on, tighten up the clamp. Congratulations, you've just changed your thermostat. Only thing left to do now is just reinstall the air intake tube, and then your top engine cover. This tube is held in by two clamps on either side for the intake and for the air box. And then there's just two little pins that it just pushes right in. And make sure to reconnect this plug. Now we're going to top off the coolant.
I didn't get this part on camera, but off screen I'm squeezing that upper radiator hose to force any air out of the system. You don't want to have any air in your system because that could cause the engine to overheat. Once you've done that, just add a little bit more fluid. Keep squeezing that upper radiator hose until you don't see any more air coming out. This is best to do on level ground. Once you're satisfied you got all the air out of the system, go ahead and replace the cap. It's also one other place to bleed air out of the system, and that's right off the thermostat itself. This is an air bleeder valve. Go ahead and crack this loose and some more air should bleed out of the system. Now the trip's back on, Luna's cool, and we were able to get home safe. I didn't really get too much more film for the rest of this video because I didn't intend to film while I was up here. But on the way back home, I did happen to come by this really cool place. This is Sowatch. It's just west of Colorado Springs, and it has something really cool to see. Outside of this trade post, there is this really cool collection of old Jeeps. There's Willys, CJs, FCs, there's even a YJ, and some Willys wagons. And there's a couple of tracked vehicles, a half track, and a deuce and a half. Mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is a CJ6. Either that or it was stretched out. To carry the, uh, the stretchers and whatnot for the wounded soldiers. Look at the length on that though. Thank you everybody so much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.